Now, a young man is incarcerated in jail along with his mother and stepfather charged in connection to a horrific case of child abuse out of Metro Atlanta. Ethan Washburn is accused of beating his brother, his little brother, over the span of three years. The same 10-year-old who Griffin police say was being starved to death by his own parents, Krista and Tyler Shinley. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is outside the detention center where the mother, the father, and the son are being held without bond. Cody, this case started unfolding one month ago today, right? Jeff, that's right. May 12th is when that 10 year old was able to escape out of his home. And that's when a neighbor just happened to look outside, saw this little guy, scooped him up, only weighing about 36 pounds and likely saved his life. Years of abuse alleged behind the walls of this home in a quiet neighborhood on the outskirts of Griffin. Inside, police say a 10 year old was locked in his room for days at a time with no food, water, lights, access to a toilet, or any interaction with his parents and four other siblings. The child was being starved to death is what we will argue. Spalding County District Attorney Marie Broder, a mother herself, detailed the abuse in a news conference back in May, where she described the child as being on the brink of death. This case is disturbing. It's Heartbreaking. The child was rescued after escaping the home here on Westminster Circle. Hours after a neighbor found the child walking barefoot, his parents, Krista and Tyler Shinley, were arrested. The question everyone was asking, how did no one notice and why was it only him? We will have a full forensic interview with him and we'll be able to know more about those details. The night of his parents' arrest, 11 Alive watched Krista Shinley's 20-year-old son, Ethan Washburn, remove several items from his parents' home. He refused to answer any questions, the DA probing if he was involved. But we are still looking into the family history. A warrant accuses Washburn of punching his 10-year-old stepbrother in the head, body, and face, leaving him, quote, seriously injured after the attacks. The warrant alleges happened often. And it gets worse in this warrant. It also accuses Washburn of strangling his stepbrother, who we've since learned is autistic, by wrapping his hands around his neck. Now, tonight we did try to get an update on that child's condition, but they have not yet told us how he's doing.